welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk about the base expandable backpack. As you can see, I love bags and I have a few other base bags I'll be reviewing in future videos, so stick around for those. In today's video, we're going to go through the base expandable backpack, what I think of it, how I use it, we're going to pack it up, I'll show you what I include in it. I love watching these types of videos, it's quite an old school YouTube video but I think they're so fun to make and I love watching other people make them, so today I wanted to create my own. I'll try to keep this video short, so let's get right into it. So this backpack is not only great for work, but also for traveling. I've used it for both. I've had it for about five months now and I really enjoy it. If I look on the base website, they say it's 13 inches wide, 15 inches tall and five but can expand to seven inches deep because it is an expandable backpack. This one was sold out for the longest time last year. I had my eye on it for a while, but then during the Black Friday sales, I finally got it. Sorry about the glare on the screen right now. It's quite sunny here in Sydney today, and I'll try to get a better angle so you can see. There is a separate pocket this backpack has at the back here that's padded for your laptop. It's got a thin layer of padding in there on both sides. So when you're traveling, that's going to protect your laptop. I'll show you how my laptop fits inside this back pocket so you can see the length. My laptop is 14 inches long and it does fit, but any longer and it wouldn't work in this back pocket. So you can see that's fine. So that laptop fits nicely in there. Obviously any smaller laptops would also work, but anything longer than 14 inches I don't think would fit. It looks like it's really deep and this is when it's fully expanded now. It's quite chunky, but if you need to fit a lot in there and you have a large laptop, it's a really good option. So they say that this is made from recycled materials which does make it a sustainable option if you're looking for a new backpack and it's quite lightweight as an option instead of going for a leather backpack i'll show you inside in a minute but first i was going to show you this little clip that's on top of the handles here makes it nice to carry the bag when they are connected then we have the back strap here which goes over your suitcase handles when you're using it in the airport i'm going to show you what's inside and how much you can really fit into this backpack it's really spacious and if you expand it it can fit even more so mine's pretty packed to the brim right now and I'll go through what's in here one by one. You can see if I was to extend this backpack even more, it would get even larger. So you just open that extra zipper and it gives you a lot more space if you need to fit more in there. In this front pocket, I usually keep both of my phones and a hand sanitizer and it has the key leash coming out of the front pocket here and in this front pocket it's empty right now oh no it's not in this front pocket i just got a lip balm going into the inside of the bag so i have a charger in this mesh pocket now we are in the main body of the bag you can see at the back there's two slip pockets there so in the front pocket i have a little clutch wallet in the back pocket i keep my 
notebook in the back pocket. Then I have the umbrella. I have a mini pouch here. This is another pouch I always have with me in my work bag. It has some essentials for um, on the go. So I've got a little compact mirror in here. I've got a perfume. We've got concealer. So just little touch up makeup things you want to keep with you. Nice to have all together organized in one pouch. I have my work lanyard in the bag. Of course, as well in the work bag, you have to have some snacks for a day in the office. These protein balls I got at Coles Supermarkets. It's an Australian brand, so I don't think they have these overseas. Obviously, we don't eat these all in one day, but I thought I'd show you some options for work snacks if you need healthy um snacks to keep you going like i do so these are a really good option it's only 2.8 grams of sugar this is another little gadget i keep in my work bag as well it's a, like a tech kit um, i have my portable charger in here my airpods and usb so this houses all those types of things so I need to have this with me all the time, especially at the office. I also bought these gold rings on Amazon and they're really good for attaching these to anything. So you attach the gold ring to the zipper and then you can attach it to something else. So if I wanted to put this on the bag on the outside, I just clip it on and then it can just hang off like that. So I really recommend these gold rings. They're on Amazon for really cheap. You can buy like a pack of 20 and it was only a couple of dollars. Another thing that I keep in my bag is a little mat. So going to public um, places, I don't like to put my bag on the floor. Like you're, if you're in a restaurant or something, I don't like just putting it on the floor because I have hygiene issues so I will put the bag onto my mat and then put this mat on the floor so that my bag's not directly touching the ground these you can find anywhere I got this one in Japan from Daiso yeah Daiso so you can see Daiso is here in Australia so maybe you can find similar ones of those I've added another gold ring onto this mini pouch as well. So if I need to carry that with me, but I don't want to take my whole bag somewhere, you just attach that to the lanyard or even to your car keys. And then you can use that more conveniently. So our bag is nearly empty now. The last compartment I'll show you is under the mesh pocket, there is a clear pocket. It's like a waterproof PVC pocket that's clear and I just keep some wet tissues in there. Probably my favorite thing about this bag is the water bottle holder. So right now you can see the water bottle is on the outside of the bag but you can actually reverse it so that pocket goes back inside the bag and then it's all seamless from the outside. So I'll show you how you do that. You just literally um, stick this back into the pocket. So squish it in, it zips up from the outside and then you can see the pocket has returned inside and you can put your bottle inside the bag now you can see i've moved the water bottle to inside the bag by pushing that pocket back in and it's hidden from the outside so when you're holding your bag and you don't want a water bottle sticking out you can always put it back in the bag like that. 
If you do keep the water bottle on the outside of the bag though, you're going to have room inside the bag. You're going to have more room for other things. This is how it looks on me, adjusted so it is a bit longer and hangs lower. Now I'm just going to pack up my bag again for you and put everything back where it was so it's ready to go and you can see how I organise everything. Okay, so we've finished packing the bag and we are ready to go. It's fully packed up now. You can see how much this can fit and I haven't even expanded the backpack so you could fit so much more if you expanded it. Another this is a great travel option if you're looking for a carry-on that you can always use as, well. as a backpack so when you're traveling, but then keep it for work. I like to attach it to the bag. So we might not need the hat for a nine to five work day, but if you're looking to purchase this bag for traveling, it's awesome that you can use the hooks to attach little extra accessories like hats or sunglasses or extra key rings and your keys too. So I bought this bag in December since then I have some used of these it dark and it has got dirty the so now there are some, some marks on it. I've tried to wipe them off deep. but I've had no luck. It did get a couple of the marks off that were here, but these sort of lines here don't seem to be coming off. I think they're permanent. I just can't remove them. Even though mine's gotten a bit dirty, I think I still love the aesthetic of the bag and I wouldn't have chosen the black one over this. But I know the black seems to be really popular as well. And I think they have actually come out with a lot of new colours since then as well, like pink.
I hope you've liked the video today. If you do, let me know in the comments.